Watch you guys got another video here for you on how we can take back control of our Windows 10 updates. Now quite a few people are sick to the back teeth with Microsoft at releasing uh, the 1809 update too early and of course it's starting to delete all their data, broken taskbar, uh, graphics driver issues, loads of other bugs that is in with that uh, 1809 build. So you may want to hold off uh, from updating to that latest version and let me show you some of the steps you can do to uh, hold off and pause those Windows 10 updates. So let's first right click on the start button and go to system and check to make sure what uh, uh, version you are running. You can see I've got edition Windows 10 Pro 1803 version install date was on the 2nd of the 5th 2018 and the operation build is 17334 407 that means we are running version 1803 that's the version i'll be staying on uh, for the next uh, couple of months just to make sure that everything is ironed out with 1809 and all the bugs have been resolved and then i will update my system to a nice stable 1809 i don't want to be updating my system to uh, a buggy broken uh, update which is uh, possibly going to cause problems for myself and my uh, daily workflow. So let's go ahead and go into update and security here. Then we want to go into the advanced options and this will give us some advanced options where we can pause updates and you can see up to 35 days we can pause those if we want to and we can also set this uh, area here which it says choose when updates are installed and I'm going to do semi-annual channel here and uh, basically you can set this up to uh, 365 days or 50 days or 20 days or whatever you want to do here or 30 days depends on how you want to set yours up but I'm just going to show you here basically what you can do so you can set this up so you to delay uh, when that installs on your system uh, which will give you time to let all the bugs ironed out by other guinea pigs that want to update straight away because there's plenty of those who like to update uh, straight away and I tend to uh, let the updates sort of mellow a little bit and all the bugs uh, ironed out. Another way is to go into local group policy editor and uh, once you're inside here we want to go Windows updates business. In here you will see uh, a bunch of settings which you can uh, select. So you can see select the quality of updates when uh, received and there's another one here which is select when preview builds and features updates are uh, received as well so you can see here we can set this up to select annual if we want you to here and select the days that you want to and you can also uh, set uh, a particular date as well and you need to put it in the format of uh, the year the month and the day and it's that simple so you just set this out so let me just show you the other one below so you can see what they both look like they look both similar to be honest but if you want to set that up you can do and of course you can set this up how you want to do it. So I'm just going to go into here and just show you this one here. And this is select when quality updates are received. This is when your updates are received here. And you can see here we can set days inside here and we need to give it a specific date and to, uh, a day when, when we want to receive our update. So if you know it's uh, due to come out, you can give it a bit of a delay and you can see 60 and uh, can only put maximum of 30 in there so let me just put 30 and of course you've got the pause uh, quality updates starting so you can put the pause uh, update day uh, month and year inside here just put the today's date in here just to show you basically it has to be in that format which is down below there okay and then you'd apply that and okay and that would then then be enabled OK, so let's move on to some other options uh, that you can use here. These are a little bit more aggressive. So going into the search box here, we're going to type in services. And of course, this will be uh, disabling the Windows Update service. So what you need to do here is look for the service for the Windows Update. And you would go inside here. Just trying to find it. There we go it's up top there we go so click on this one and uh, you would then you see it's on manual you'd put this on disable and then click apply and this will disable uh, the Windows update now once that's disabled you could enable it whenever you want to uh, but the people have said they've had issues with this re-enabling itself so bear that in mind so go back down 
to the start button here and I'm going to go to settings and I'm just going to show you once you've disabled the service what will happen. So let's go into update and security here and check for updates. You will get an error kickback because obviously we've disabled uh, the Windows update service. Another thing you can do if you want to get a bit more aggressive with Windows updates uh, is to go into task uh, scheduler and uh, we're going to click on this one here. Inside here you want to go to the left hand side, click on that there where it says uh, task schedule library and then Microsoft then Windows and it will populate a bunch of uh, schedules that Windows is automatically set up here and what we're looking for is Windows update. Inside here you'll see a bunch of settings now I've only got two here but if you've got loads more settings inside here uh, you want to uh, disable these inside here okay because obviously uh, these are the schedules for your updates and you can open them up and take a look and they're all in the Windows updates folder so they're due uh, to update your Windows now if you've got Windows Update Assistant installed on your system there'll be some other features inside here which you will need to disable as well so all you need to do is just highlight it and hit disable I'll just do one for you here just to show you and you see the ready has now turned to disable and you can do the other one and of course if you want to reverse this after you've uh, finished you can then go back in here and just re-enable them it's that simple so you don't want to delete them or anything like that you just want to enable them and disable them and I'll just ready that up okay now obviously Windows 10 Pro does give you a bit more control over your updates and that's why I prefer the Pro version. So let's go down to the search box and type in GP Edit and this feature comes with the Windows 10 Pro. So this gives you much more control over your operating system and allows you to enable and disable and uh, sort of pause uh, features inside here. So let's go into the um, administrator templates here under the computer configuration then go Windows components and then drill down to UC Windows updates now inside here there's going to be a bunch of features which you can mess with so inside here which we've already been into earlier on where we went to the Windows updates for business you have got to configure uh, updates automatic updates inside here which you can mess around with so you can see here if we enable this you can now go through and change your features so what you want to do is notify for download and auto install so it will notify you uh, that there is downloads for your updates rather than just go ahead and install them and you can set this up how you want but basically that's it you're pretty good to go you've got every week here uh, first of the month and so on you can set that all up how you like you click apply and okay and that is set in place you can see it's got enabled there now and you're back in control of your updates that's why it's worth to have Windows 10 uh, Pro now one more thing I want to quickly show you here to uh, gain control of your updates again is to make sure the Windows Update Assistant is uninstalled on your system so if you have installed it then you want to come down to it and go to control panel and go into control panel here and go into uh, programs and features so if you've got this uh, look here go to large icons under the uh, view by and then go into where it says programs and features and then just uninstall the uh, Windows 10 update assistant if you don't in uninstall this it's going to take control of your updates and start uh, upgrading your system without your say so so you definitely want to un uninstall that okay Anyway, that's about it for this video. That's how you can take control of your Windows 10 updates. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, guys, and thanks for your continued support. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.